All right, we're live. Well, oh, not live. No. We're recording. We're, oh, that was, you didn't even give like a countdown. No, no I didn't countdown. Even know. We're just going. Hello, friends. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Needles at the Ready. I'm Ray. I'm Kevin. And uh, we're coming to you from Stratford, Connecticut. Yep. And apparently we're having a V-neck party today. Which we I are. Notice. Yep. V-neck. Ooh. Okay. All right. So this is Needles at the Ready. <clears throat> we, episode 16. Oh, I don't know. Yes. Episode 16. Wow. I never thought I would say I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Episode 16, we are a knitting, crafting, crocheting, fiber Fibery, channel. Chit-chatty, so we are here whatever you to want. to discuss our knits wow. and our pearls and how we've manipulated them to make fabric. Great. Fantastic. So, okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, just want to... I guess we always like to start with um, thanking every all the new viewers. Yeah. And all of our returning viewers, we really appreciate it. Um, thank you to everybody who stopped by and watched the live last week. Oh, it was uh, so much fun. Yeah, we love doing it. Yeah. It's um, yeah. a really fun way for us to get to interact with you guys uh, mm -hmm. differently than, you know, replying to comments or Ravelry or Instagram. So. Yeah, it's real time. Like, we like answering your questions and, um, you know, hearing your stories. And it was really cool because this one, we had a good amount of people. I think we were up to, like, 246 people or something like that oh, in the live. Oh, good for you for knowing. Yeah. And, um, but the good thing, the, the cool thing is that like everybody was talking to each other, yeah. you know, and sharing patterns and also enabling people because, yeah, there was uh, a lot of, enabling. there was a lot of enabling. Yeah. There, there was. was definitely a lot of enabling oh. happening. And we do know that there was like a slight issue. There was another one that was oh, on yeah. that day that showed that it was like set for 6 PM Eastern time and some people yeah. were hanging out in there. So for those who were there, we are so sorry, but for, and who jumped over, we really appreciate yeah. it. Um, and thank you to our wonderful community who like realized that, yes. let us know, and then corralled the rest of the people who were waiting for our live to start. Um, Absolutely. To join us. Yeah. Um, so what else? So it I don't know. It's been... weird because it's only been a week. Yes. That kind of throws me off. Me too. So I think maybe next time that we do a live, maybe we do the live in place of like a recording. Well, so, so that it's still yeah. every two weeks. Um, I don't like doing that only because like I like our live. The live that we did was a uh, like a hybrid. Right? Yeah, so we kind of treated it like a little bit of an episode, a little bit of a chit chat. Right. I kind of like it as a bonus because not everybody likes the lives. It's true. You know, so I do kind of like it. I'm not sure if. We should have done it as a uh, standalone episode, you know. Like maybe yeah. going forward, we'll just we'll do some more like, like chit chatting bonus kind of thing in the past. Maybe we um, just won't throw it up either. Like it could just be like if you make it, you make it. I mean, oh. I, we could not like um, mm. post it as a maybe jigger on the. Channel. I don't know. Regardless, I, know. I have a really yeah, good time, I so I don't really so. care. Yeah, it's it was a lot of fun. It was oh. awesome to see you all. Yeah, our so. microphone didn't work. No, no, no. We forgot that. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So that was. Last week, so it's technically been one week. It has not been a fortnight. It's not been a fortnight. No. Uh, so there hasn't been, like, there's been a decent amount of knitting, but obviously not as much as we would normally. I have. had mostly swearing, um, cursing, frustration this week with my knitting. I, I didn't get make much progress. I haven't had the cursing and swearing. I've had some struggles with my project. Like, yeah. I haven't been really uh, super confident in decisions that I've made for colors choices i've you have kind around. of been going back and forth with yeah i still choices. am actually i took it out three times already today <laughs> so uh yeah but i don't know so i'll we'll talk about that in a little bit so um what else this week what else have this i mean literally nothing work yeah that's it's really that's been happened. just um it's really just been like work yeah it's just been work this yeah. week uh yeah we had you know we've had some hot days oh and some thunderstorms yeah yeah, it's been humid. It's Today been is like super humid. We're going to be 97 on Monday. Right. Like Lucifer is going to be walking down our street. Yeah, he'll be breathing down our necks. Like the yeah. hellhounds are going to be mm -hmm. just trotting down. I know. Our little air conditioners are going to like putt, putt, putt away. I know. We haven't invested in central air yet. We no. keep saying it since we bought the house. We were like, oh yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Cause yeah, we, we're definitely going to do it in the fall. We'll get it because it'll be cheaper and but, whatever. Because I loved it in the apartment. Me too. Um, It was great to have. Mm-hmm. It is the only benefit of ha not having it is that our air conditioners make so much freaking noise that it helps drown out it does. thunderstorms and fireworks. Yep. So having central air, we won't have that benefit. We'll just need to, I think in order to get central air, we'll have to get surround sound so that we can really make it sound like an IMAX theater in here during those times to really get everything, Yeah. all the noise under control. Yeah, for sure. Or just like some noise canceling device 
from some place that's made one that's going to be super expensive and then we won't hear anything. Yeah. Like, For, don't they have a noise-canceling doghouse you were talking about or something Well, like that? not yet. It's oh. in, like, it's a prototype. Yeah. Um, Those noise-canceling panels that they have that you can, like, put on the walls, like the noise-absorbing ones or yeah. whatever, they're very expensive. No. Yes, mm. they're. I swear that they were very. Sp- no. I guess it depends on what what brand. It does. I was. I had watched yeah. somebody actually a YouTube uh, video about it because I was thinking about that for the house, and it was a twelve pack of tiles of yep. the little black tiles, and they're like twenty bucks. Oh really? Yeah, they're not oh. that expensive. But then like, where do you? But hang then them? you hang them in your living room, and that's just weird. Silly. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't um, like to do that. All right. So yeah. So that is noise canceling. Um, yeah. So what else this week? Um, so yeah, we I did don't... the live. Nothing really happened after the mm-hmm. live. Work a lot. Oh, work. I found out that we are required to start heading back into the office on September 8th for at least one to three days a week. So mm-hmm. that will. So I have like another, what, like month, month and a half ish kind of left of working from home. So I think I'm just going to wait till then. I don't know. I may try to go in or, you know, sooner, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's like been the week, right? That's been the week. Nothing it really. really it, it's been just. Oh, we, a, oh, and we did our knit night on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Oh, we love so, them so much. Yeah, we love our knit nights. Yeah. Um, it's just fun, like knitting with people. Yeah, uh, meeting. It's just been a joy, like meeting everybody in Absolutely. the group. Absolutely. Um, so it's very nice that we were invited to join. I know people have asked us before. It's actually not like our knit group. It's one that we've been invited to. So it's been a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I really enjoy doing it. But I think we but, can probably take advantage of like a Zoom thing and maybe like in the future have maybe one day. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Possible. Like host like a you know a big knit night for everybody like our. You know, our viewers and stuff in our Maybe. community come. Who Maybe. Knows? We'll see. Who knows? Who yeah. knows what's going to happen? What are you so, drinking, by the way? I'm just drinking um, some, like, crystal light caffeinated strawberry oh. thing. It's not actually very good. I I'm like not, the strawberry one. I'm not enjoying I, it. It does have a lot of caffeine in it, though. Um, good. I, I need some. I'm quite tired today. Yeah. The dog got me up at 520 this morning to use the bathroom. He did. Or the outdoors. Because there were some fireworks last night, so he didn't want to go outside. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so let's let's get into it. Sure. Let's get into some. I knitting. really don't have much. So, I think to start, mm-hmm. just one of the things that we talked about on Sunday during the live. Oh, yeah. I would like to show this again because I believe – let me check before I open my mouth and okay. just give incorrect information. Well, so we also mentioned on Sunday um, that – and not everybody obviously joined us on our live. Um, so Naughty Knitting Sacks, um, we still have a coupon code for her, um, which was very generously set up for us um so if you go to naughty knitting naughty knitting sacks on etsy um she has a coupon code prickle pants 15 and that's still in effect we got uh verification that um she said it's good forever for right now well yeah well yeah so um you know check it out yeah till the end of time i'm gonna start singing soon no is that a song i think so from whom i don't know ask your girl no 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 let's not talk to her all right, I love her. so we, she hates me though. She's starting to like me a little bit better though. Well, you haven't even like had a conversation to give her your name. Like for me, no, I know morning, because it says, takes so Kevin, long. Have a have a good day, Kevin. Enjoy the sunshine. And then I ask what the weather is, and she's like, "Go to hell." Yeah, basically, pretty much. I know. All right, so the other thing that we had announced on Sunday's live is that we were gracious enough to be asked to collaborate with Amanda Nitz, who's so one of our favorite dyers. Yeah, her colorways are. Love her colorways. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're so good. Um, so, so she, yeah. we collabed with her. She asked us to pick some colors. And she, um, based on the colors that we chose, she dyed each of us up some yarn. She's adding it to her shop. She's currently taking pre-orders for them. So for me. Oh, my God. This is Rise of Fox. Wait. Yes, the Rise of Fox. Oh, I love it. So it's oranges and blues and beautiful colors oh my god it's so beautiful let's go again let's just give you guys a good that looks good that's a good yeah sense of color yeah it's i don't know what's happening with our um (laughs) we have such a delay on the laptop i can't see if it's showing up or not oh that's weird hopefully that didn't record like that so here you go Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so it's so good. This one is currently on a new base that she's carrying. This is her luminous base. It is fifty percent super washed merino, fifty percent silk. It's amazing. Oh, it's, it's super so soft. soft. I know. Has a great little like sheen to it. Um, so this is 
the Rise of Fox, and I did just check the site, and she is still accepting pre-orders for this colorway. Awesome. Is she accepting pre-orders for this one? She is. Oh, good. So this was, I um, I love blues and yellows and some grays, and so she came up with this colorway. Look at the gray. I, lo- I love the gray. Oh, look at the darker. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I, yeah, I love the dark gray in there. Look how amazing this is. So this is called Explored, Exploding. Exploding Cornish Pixies. Freshly caught Cornish Pixies. Is it not going to... I feel like I'm really close to the microphone. You are, and you're not doing your whisper. I'm not doing so my whisper. It's, kinda, it's really Exploding awesome. it Cornish like Pixies on her luminous base. 50% superwash merino wool. 50% silk. 100% delicious. It I is love actually, it. It's it very is. good. It is very, very soft. So these are available on pre-order um, yes. right now. She's also getting together. She, I think she launched it, she actually. She did. It's available for pre-order on her site, her Harry Potter Harry Club. Harry po- Potter Club. It's going to be a six-month club. Yep. You get one full skein of yarn. You get to choose your base, which is really great. It's really great. Um, it's very unique, I think. I don't know of many that I've seen mm. that we've looked at to purchase where you were able to choose your base. Just, just the weight of yarn. Right. And, like... It's available on all of her bases, I believe. Um, I went through and I was looking at it. So there's a ton of choices. So, um, yeah, Harry Potter themed, six months. So starting now through, I think, December. So it'll be July, August, September, October, November. Wait, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, six months. I can so, count. No, I just want to make sure, you know, yeah. Yeah. So those six months. Um, and so, and it will have like some other. Harry Potter themed like goodies included with your skeins, and that is available for pre order on our site too, which is Amanda Knits.com. So yes. go check her out. Wunderbar. And, and also check out Naughty Knitting Sacks for yes, and use our coupon code. Sacks. Um so, so a lot of new things. Right? I feel like and we also oh we we got an Instagram. Oh yes, we did. We started uh Needles at the Ready Instagram. Yeah. So we were kind of thinking like, um, you know, Kevin and I, we have our personal Instagram accounts, which yeah. is great. And we've been posting for the podcast and our finished objects and all that stuff, which is great. And we're going to continue to do that. But, um, you know, people reach out to either one of us um, about things that they've seen on the podcast. And um, we thought it would be cool to have our own where we can share our makes and things like in a, you know, both of us have access yeah. to it and can share. And you guys can um, interact with us both. So our Instagram is needles at the ready pod, P-O-D. Yes. And uh, that's on Instagram. So follow us. We have zero followers right now because we, we literally just created it. We did. So and this um, way, who wants to be our first follower? Yeah, so Ooh. go ahead and follow. And this yeah. way, too, it allows us to go through and start following back. Yeah. Because um, I was like, oh, man, how are we going to follow everybody that we currently follow on our individual ones? Yeah. So um, in this way, too, we don't have to bombard our non-yarny Non-nitty friends, friends. Um, with so much knitting, which I... I Personally, I don't care. I don't care either. Um, but I'll probably but like, do both. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that's that. Yeah. That's all the stuff that we have. So that's all the like. So admin. I'll see you guys later. It was great. All right, let's talk about some FOs. <laughs> Here's mine. I have one. You do? I have oh yeah. One you FO. Do. I finished it first thing Good this job. morning. Um, it is. You guys are going to be amazed by. This I can't mas- believe all the work this you did on masterpiece. This masterpiece. Yeah. It is. I don't know how you can like hold up your arms. One of my best knits ever. <laughs> That's saying something. <laughs> da, 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 da. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my it gosh! It actually looks it's really a nice. masterpiece. I actually, I really, lo- I do like this actually. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh my gosh! What a. Mm. So this is grandma, gram, grandma's favorite dishcloth. So I don't do it with the holes. Mm-hmm. Or yarn overs. This is with Knit Picks Dishy Multi and Granite. It's really pretty. I actually like the colorway. I love it. Oh, Pebble, actually. Oh, Pebble. Actually, you know what? I love this colorway so much. It's the only thing that's been holding me back from buying some more is that they don't have this. Oh, they so don't? I was on the site the other day and I wanted to get some Dishy Multi. And then I had saw mm-hmm. Lisa bought some Dishy... Like marled. Yeah, I'm glad. One. I'm glad Lisa got back to knitting some dishcloths because I liked to see them when she did them. So, um, yeah, I don't know why is mine always misshaped. I think it's how I wash it. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but yeah, so dishcloth. 
And this is the first one that we are going to be able to keep for us. The other ones that we made, we gave to your mom. We did give to my mom. We haven't so, gotten feedback yet. Hi, mom. So. Are they soft? I like, it's just so much softer. Just being knit, it is. So yeah, um, I'll make some more. I like knitting them. I knit these when I'm kind of working sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'll knit if I. Because um, you can kind of go on autopilot. Yeah, and I'm just like reading stuff or, you know, if we have a meeting, I'll knit during the meeting. So yeah, this is the only FO for needles at the ready this it is. week. But it's only been a week. It hasn't been a fortnight. I know it's only been a week. So next time. Maybe. Great. I don't even know. All right, <laughs> so that's just um so now we're gonna move right along into whips. Whips. Whoops. Okay. You want me to go? You may proceed. I only have two because my other two I have four whips total. Correct. Um two of them are languishing. Um I haven't touched them in a week. And two of them. I worked on one of them. I probably would have been done had I not no. taken it out 17,000 times. You did take it out a lot. I took it out a lot. Yes. So these, I'm just going to show these. This is um, my Rose City Rollers, modified Rose City Rollers. Um, here. I did the Fish Lips Kiss heel. Did a little rolled cuff. So it's, this is why it's modified, because in the original Rose City Rollers um, pattern, you know, it does a heel flap and gusset. But I really do love the um, the Fish Lips Kiss heel. And then I'm going to do a rounded toe. I'm knitting these on 8-inch cir- eight inch circular needles. Addie's 8-inch circulars. And I'm using Knit Pick Stroll in... Something Sapphire something Heather. Something Sapphire, Sapphire Heather. Pretty. And I'm using the leftover um, Amanda Knits yarn Fox in farts. Fox Farts. And so I actually have one of them done already. I'll show you how it knits up. It knits up beautiful. I think it knits up really beautifully. Yeah. Um, I showed this on Sunday. Um, I finished, you know, the one sock. So fish lips kiss heel here. Rounded toe. I think it looks really good. I like the the colors, the how they contrasted yeah. together. I mean, they're really complementary. They're not really contrasting colors. I don't think. No, it's it's such, because it it's picks a up really, like really the blues in here. Colorway. Yeah, this um the yarn is very very soft. I don't know if I have her ball band. I think this is on her. Oh, I do. These are her old um her old labels. So here's Amanda Knits. You had fifty one grams left. I had fifty one grams left. How do you know? I'm just kidding. Um, and this is Fox Farts 7525 Superwash Merino and uh, Nylon 463 yards. So, and I had leftover from when I made my sockhead slouch hat, which I'm due for another one. Yeah, how? Let's uh, let's. How huh. many? How many do you have? Three, four, three. I don't know. Who cares? Does it matter? I love them. I love making them. They're very. They're easy. They are easy. It's just something to like, you know, when you're just like, I can go on autopilot. Because I did realize that I am not um, a proficient knitter as I thought I was. Why? Because I had a lot of trouble with this stupid shawl. And it really kind but, of made, I, I want to do something well, simple now again. So that I can kind of gain my confidence back. Because I think sh- I lost my, I didn't lose my mojo, but I lost my confidence. But that shawl, the the... Uh, which one? the pattern's not, I don't know if the pattern's not written very well or just not explained well. It's not explained well. So. Well, I don't think it's explained. I, I mean, actually I was watching, who was I watching? We might've been watching a podcast a while ago and somebody had found a pattern from like the 1800s. Did you hear, do you remember this? And they say that the older knitting patterns are yes i do remember right this. they're like there's like no detail in them whatsoever yeah you yeah. kind of just it just tells you like make a bunch of stitches here do this make it look right yeah you know, and you're and done actually i think chevis was knitting something that, not from the 1800s but from a different country and they had like they didn't have a lot of step-by-step details um it may have been. It actually may have been her. I feel it, maybe it wasn't from the eighteen hundreds. I think it was a pattern from like the seventies or sixties. Mm-hmm. But I, I do remember this, where it just ex- you're expected. You're so, expected to know. Yeah. I think sometimes with patterns, and I think with the the pattern that you're working on that we're talking about, mm-hmm. that you'll show and I'll next, show it. I'll show it. Next. Um, I think the the key to that pattern is really understanding your 
your knitting and being able to read it and yeah. understanding what the final product is supposed, supposed to, look to look like, like. so you can on so that you know where you're what you're trying to do yeah and so you and i had talked about that a little bit with um a pattern that i had knit oh uh-oh uh-oh did it get all messed up i don't i think so so oops nope nope i don't know well, that's all right let it let it be all right let it be um let it so be. with my let first time knitting the stephen mm -hmm. west groove shawl i didn't realize that's really early on in my knitting Career. life life knitting life i like that um where it was i was doing cables and you have to slip a stitch you have to slip some stitches i didn't realize that i did that i had to move the yarn in the front or back oh yeah and it doesn't say it it doesn't say it when you're knitting there's like a blurb somewhere within the pattern and obviously i don't read patterns all the way through like who does that some um, people do some that some people do that no yeah. and good for them because i know you really should then you're so, prepared you know what so you for new knitters read your pattern all the way through read your darn patterns um but no i, di I didn't know that so i yeah. but then the next time i went i was like oh this doesn't look right so now i know what it's supposed to look like so going forward like i've never made that mistake again right you know? which is good and i guess that's yeah. how you're that's how you learn you know, um, and it, it is, it's all learning. Yeah. It's like every pattern, even the most seasoned knitter can learn something from yeah. from each work that they do. So my first whip, I've made very little progress on this. Well, at least you've um, made progress. Since Sunday. So this is my... I love this color. Yes, this is a vanilla sock that I'm working on. I'm using Nomadic Yarns, Trusty Sock, the Neville Colorway. Here's it scanned up. Mm. And here is my progress. So this is on my Chagu 2.5. I love that you chose the platform 9 and 3 quarters. I know. I, I forgot that you got me all these yeah. um, for Christmas. So this is um, Chagu 2.5 millimeters. So that's what? A US 2, I think. Um, and no. I was here on Sunday. It's like US a 1. 1.5 5 or something. So I was here on Sunday. So I made a little bit of progress. Yeah. And I believe I'm just going to finish this repeat. And I think I'm almost at seven inches. So I'm 64. Really? I think so. Oh. I'm at 64 stitches. I did a one by one rib for 15 rounds. Then I actually um, like the one by one rib. I know you were talking about it last time. You weren't. You weren't sure why you did that, but I, I like it. I think it looks good. So yeah, I you know what I do like a one by one rib on smaller. Yeah, circumference projects, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of one by one rib. I don't think on a hat. So much. It depends. I don't. Rem I don't like. No, you know what? I think I'm a fan of it on a hat. I don't really? know that I like a two by two on a hat. Actually. Do you think it's too loose, like with a two by two? I don't Which know. one's tighter, one by one? I don't know. Yeah, I, I would. I would assume so. I mm. would assume a one by one has a little bit of a tighter um, cuff to it. Okay. But yeah, I think I like a one by one, one by one for my hats. Cool. Yeah. So. Um, I'm gonna do a fish lips kiss heel for the first time on these, and I'm going you to. You are? Yeah, and I'm oh, gonna I'm use. Oh, I'm so excited! Some yarn that we got from. I'm gonna use a mini that we got from Whatnot from Kathy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use the gold color in mm -hmm. here. I think I'm gonna use Kathy's minis to do like my first mini project. So, yeah. So that that's whip number one. All right. So now let's talk about this whip that's been your whip that's been um, giving you. Ajita for oh the totally week. and that's a good way to say it i have such ajita all right so this well this is stephen west this is stephen west and this is how the world turns is that how it goes this is this is no is that no that this is and these are the days of our lives these are the days of our lives so this, oh my gosh, aren't these beautiful? I think these are gorgeous. Yeah, I do love so them. So this is Leading Men Fiber Arts um, in their MCN base, which is called Show Stealer. Um, this is Don't Fear the Reaper, and this one is Dirty Truce. Um, Dirty so, truce. Dirty Truce. Dirty Truce. Now, I did not make much progress since I last saw you, but I knit a poop ton on this. You would never know that I knit so much. Have you figured it out though? Nope, but I've, I'm trusting my own, I'm tr like you said, I'm gonna have a mistake and there's definitely a mistake still here. I'm gonna let it roll because this is how 
it's my personal touch on this shawl. So I'm just going to rock and roll with it. I'm going to go for it. I know what the mistake is. I know where it is. I don't know why it is, but I know where it is and what it is. And I'm just going to just going to go with it. Okay. All right. You do you. I'm going to do me, boo. So this is So this is what I have so far. This is a top-down, I don't know how 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 it's called. So I see it. Okay, you see it? Yeah. So I didn't make much progress. This is don't look at the progress keeper. That's not that's not actually the progress keeper from last time. This so, is just to let me know where the front of my work is. Now, this has let me show you. Let me show you. Let me remind you. Because I feel like um let me not, because <laughs> I have this set up for something else. But this is called Barndom by Stephen West. It's one of his earlier patterns. Do you have the pattern up here? No, I'll pull it up. I can pull it up. I got it. Okay, because I have something. Um, mm-hmm. So it's one of his earlier patterns. It was actually written in 2012. He he does kind of what we were talking about, assumes that you know what you're doing. Um, it's a beautiful, I think it's a beautiful shawl. Oh yeah. I and mean, it's a beautiful shawl. Um, it's a two skein option or a three skein option. Right now I have the two skeins in it, but the cool thing is if I decide to do a third, it doesn't alter the pattern of what I'm doing now. It's just like you add it in afterwards. Oh, that was a different picture than I, that's pretty. Yeah. Me... So there's cables. There's yarn overs, there's slip stitches, there's a lot of things, making make one lefts, yeah. make one rights. There's just a lot going on in this shawl. And um, he has you repeat a, a certain number of rows a certain number of times. Within those rows, it tells you like knit 24, slip two, knit 24, slip two, knit 25, you know, slip your marker, blah, 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 blah. And then the next row, it has you like making stitches and whatever. So by the time you get to like having to repeat those rows, your counts are off because you've already like made stitches. And then he tells you to place the stitch marker a certain point along like your slipped stitches, but it it doesn't really match up. So anyway, um, my cables in the beginning... I know I was kind of talking in circles. It's very difficult because it's a paper pattern, so I don't want to give like too much away. But you see my cable there? Like, it's not lined up. Yep. You know? Um, it is going to be up here because now I figured it out. Because I'm just gonna trust my my eye and like my own knitting. Um, and like all those cables are kind of the same. Like there's just like a little. It's like a one stitch off. Yeah. You know? Um, which you know what? It is what it is. I'm 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 good now um, because I'm just gonna trust my. Yeah. I'm just gonna trust what I'm seeing and where I you know where things go. Looking at the you know finished objects and the you know the pictures. I just don't know why I can't wrap my head around. I just can't. I couldn't wrap my head around it. I, t- I took it out so many times, um, like frogged it almost completely. Um, you know, just but I I really wanted. I really want to do it because I think it's such a beautiful shawl. And I think these colors are going to look really nice once I knit a, a little bit more of them. Right? Don't you think that that'll look nice Yeah, together? I love the gray. I love the, the gray and the green, green in it. I love that the... Yeah. And what I really like is that the green is actually quite bright. It's a, it is. It's a very bright color, but the yeah. dark gray that you chose kind of mutes it mm-hmm. a little bit. So it's not so... Um, yeah. Can you pull that down? Yeah. Well, no. Why? Because the tension's just a little tight. Oh, is it? There. So I think it's going to look nice once it's all, yeah. you know, once it's all said and done. Um, I, I will have those mistakes, but I'm hoping that it's really not that big of a deal, especially when I wear no. it. Um, and it's it's my own, it's my own little thing. So. Now it's the radum. Rate, radum. Instead of the barndom. It's the radum. Yeah. It's so barndom. Barndom is childhood, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he remember like he used to play in like a barn when he was a kid, so that's how he chose the pattern. I want a barn, something like that. I'd like a barn too, except no, I wouldn't. No, because remember arachnophobia, where that damn spider lived in that goddamn barn. No, nope. No, I just I'm you good. don't know. You don't know what's what can live in that barn. As long as there's not snakes, I'm fine. Yeah, but you don't know. There could be. I know, but I'm not moving anywhere that there's no, snakes. No, we're not getting a barn. 
Sorry. We're, why not? We could get a farm. No. I would love a farm. Yeah. We have to move, like, north, though. We'd have to move to, like, New Hampshire, Vermont. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. And then we'd have to drive in a lot of snow. Well, if we have a farm, we sh- what else? We grow our own stuff. So we don't really need to go anywhere. Well, I mean, you really can't be a nurse in the barn. You'd have to go to work. Oh, true way. story. That's true. I was thinking maybe I would just, like, be a um, a farmer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can see myself driving, like, a tractor or something. I would love it. That'll be great. I cut the grass today. I felt pretty good. I know. I have to I cut can, the grass can, either today or tomorrow. Yeah, I can tend a field. Tend a field. I could totally tend a field. Oh. Um, so I'm done. <laughs> so, That's all I got. That's all he's got. So I have two more whips. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go this one. This one I didn't make the most progress on. So this is going to be, again, a very heavy uh, Stephen Gosh, episode. I love this. Yeah. Why Why so much? Oh, because We're Grocery do- Girls are... Um, thank you. Grocery Girls are doing a West Along, and um, this also qualifies to enter our uh, Make Along. Right. Let's hear it for the boys. So if you're interested, you know, these are some ideas that we were throwing at you as well. And I'm using the um, the yarn from Leading Men Fiber Arts, which are male dyers. The dog is... Coming. Hi, handsome. Hi, love bug. What's going on? What are you looking at? Oh, so he's no. like in the hallway and he's looking up he's at like the ceiling. It's weird. Oh, All right. Stretching now. So I'm working on uh, Stephen West. This one is Dotted Rays. Yeah, this is really pretty. All right, so let's find a picture so you guys can see. And I can be a proper podcaster. I totally was not a proper podcaster. Here we go. So we got Dotted Rays. I believe I'm going to do... Wow, it's really pretty. It is. I believe I'm doing the small size i don't know i don't remember okay i don't remember on this one which i haven't actually i don't think i've made a decision so i'm knitting this with amanda knits oh in avocado toast i love this color this is on her kansas base which is 80 percent superwash merino and 20 percent nylon mm-hmm. so this is really nice it's a it's really beige like creamy color mm. and then some greens this has a little like browns and purples um so here is where we are so far. You almost stabbed me in the eyeball. Again, I, didn't I do that on Sunday? You did. Um, wow, so, it's knitting up so nice. Look at the speckling. Yeah. It's perfect. Oops. Making an awful lot of noise. I am making an awful lot of noise. So this is where I am. I was down yeah. here on Sunday. This is my little Deathly Hollows. I love that progress keeper so yeah so this is avocado toast i love the way it's knitting up me too i am still toying on with the idea of adding a second color in to use the leftover um teddy now bear how that does I he have. how does he recommend you do that or is that just something that you're gonna kind of do on your no, own no there is a recommendation in the pattern because there is a striped version of it as well okay. um so there is a recommendation on where to start your stripes if you plan on using multiple colors okay so i would like to I just don't know. I think the brown would really highlight all of those colors a little bit. Which brown would you do? The teddy bear? The teddy bear? Yeah, me too. So I thought That's of doing idea. stripes, but then I was thinking of just finishing it with the brown, mm-hmm. doing the whole thing in the avocado toast, and then doing the final section in the teddy bear, and just have this pop oh. of brown at the bottom instead of incorporating it throughout. Sure. One, to have less ends. Um, two, because I just think it might be a little cool to have that pop at the bottom. Yeah, I think that would be great. And that so teddy bear I, colorway is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and that's from um, Trilogy. Nancy at Trilogy Yarns. Nancy Trilogy Yarn. Yeah. So I don't know. So that's the only thing I'm toying around with. I I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Um, I did mention this, I believe, on this one. Yes. So again, this is an early pattern from I think 2014, and mm-hmm. when you initially cast on. Um, his cast on method is a like a, a I core tab. Oh, and it's supposed to be provisional and all this <clears throat> good stuff. And I went back and I found a recent video of his where he even said in his earlier patterns he suggested doing the provisional that you don't have to do it. So I did not do the provisional with this, and I've enjoyed knitting it much more since that. Um, pretty memorize memorizable memorizable. memorizable. 
Yeah, that's, that's yeah. It's real. pretty intuitive once you start getting into it. Uh, I refer back to it just so I know the count of rows that I need to do. But other than that, the pattern that it's creating um, kind of tells you what you need to do. You just have to keep track of your rows. The rest of it's kind of now. How are you keeping out. track of your rows? I am are keep, you writing them down? I write them down. Okay. I like to do my little dashes, my X, my little line through, and that's my five. I don't All like right. using. Um, a row counter? All, well, no, that's a well, lot. We don't have one for you to even try to we use. We don't have a row counter. No, we probably do somewhere Maybe. in some notion pouch or container that's somewhere within this house. Mm -hmm. But I've never used a row counter. I've just liked writing it. And I don't use, we were talking about this Thursday night, I don't use Knit Companion oh, yeah. um, because I would prefer to write it down. I just, and I like to, I use, I do both. I, I like a pen and paper. Yeah. For Barndom, I'm using Knit Companion, and for my mom's shawl, the Perfect Pocket shawl, I'm using Knit Companion as well to keep track of, like, the rows. I just really use it as a row counter, to be honest with you. And what I no, like, and I like to highlight and see where you're at. I, I like the Knit Companion. And what I like to do, too, is I actually, I um, I like to use a post-it, and I'll put the post on so I don't mess up the pattern. But with my dotted rays i actually didn't do that i'm actually writing on the pattern because i think we have two copies of it one to like well, yeah. store and one, and one for, for you to write, to on. write on yeah so that is dotted rays my next whip is also stephen west great i'm just gonna sit back and relax and enjoy oh the show. i forgot to say guys so this was in my knit oh, for yeah. brains bag mm -hmm. this one is in for my twinkle for twilight mortar twinkle and twilight twinkle and twilight my marauder's map yep bag and this one is in my fat wool co. I love this bag so I, I really much. Do Such a bag. great I love quality the size of bag. This bag. Mm -hmm. I have five skeins or six skeins of yarn in here and a shawl right now. Wow, it's like it's it's the quality is outstanding. I love this bag. Yeah, me too. The echinacea and the neighbors are doing very well. They're not. They have not made it to our our yard yet. Maybe one night. Um, we just like run out there in the middle of the night and cut one down. Can you imagine? I bet if we ask them, they would they'll give us some. Yeah, they're actually they're, they're very, very nice people. Um, yeah. So I'm next one is Vertices Unite, Stephen West. I'm going to do the super size shlank shlank it shlank it. It's huge. It's going to be eight and a half feet. Yeah. So show the inside of that bag. I will, but I have a lot. Oh, I'm you do. I'm going to take everything out of it and then I can show. You it. are. Yeah, because I. You know, we're going to talk okay, about... Okay, guys. Answers. All right, so here's Oh, where gosh, I keep hitting things. We are. I have finished section... We are, we are. So as of last week, I was done with section one. That's section one. This is section one. I have... This is a shawl by itself. It is. Mm -hmm. The red is Lolo Did It. Words from the Quotable Dumbledore Club. I don't know why I said Dumbledore. I don't know that either. Way, I was going to... Like the Quotable Dumbledore I... Door Door. Club. It's like you sing song it. And then, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to show that part. No, and then this section is Country Cupboard by Barnyard Knits, mm -hmm. which I freaking love this color. Yeah, me too. All right. And I have moved on to section two, and I completed that. This is a... Here, bring it down in this way, maybe? This way? Here, just so we could see sure. the section. Oh, I see what you're saying. So this is knit with... Um, Earwax by Lolo Did It again from the uh, quotable Dumbledore Club and then this one is Barnyard Knits and it is called something that I don't know off the top of my oh. head so I've changed this section three or four times mm -hmm. I first did two different grays um, I did a northbound knitting and then I did a savvy skeins right. Russell Wagon Wheel right. took them out didn't like it then I did Rusted Wagon Wheel with Earwax. This is Didn't so like nice. It. And then I did Earwax with a new color that I got. And I didn't like it because they're so close. Um, actually, we just I decided today that the shawl as it is would be the symbol from Star Trek. Oh, it does kind of look like the right? it kinda, thing. The, yeah, the little thing that they um, have the on there. The communicators. Yes. All right. Kinda. So before we go on with yarns, right? See, yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. Yeah. I could just finish that off and it'd be the Star Trek shawl. And we could hang it over here. Right. So here's the inside. Oh, look at... Oh, I did not even notice this last time. Let's turn this inside out. 
there's a a little pouch right here with echinacea on it. Oh, fun. I totally did not realize that. That's, guys. I know. The quality of the bag is amazing. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. So the inside is this really pretty blues, all these little flowers in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, let me see if I could figure out what barnyard nymphs that was. So the first one was country covered. Yep. So that's that's in this rusted. I yeah, I don't know what the other one is. I don't have my tag. You don't? I'm surprised. I know. I'm very surprised. It must be downstairs still. But here's here's what the, the color looks like. It's either like fading light or something else. I, got, I remember seeing the three of them together. She had taken a picture and put all three on Instagram. And they just oh, complimented yeah, that's right. each other so well that... I was we like, got oh, all three, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's country covered, fading light, and something else. So this one is a very this nice, is really cool, like tans and golds and some brown speckles. Yeah. So here's where my conundrum had come in. It's a fun cow. Like this is earwax, right? So this is, I think it's a little bit darker. It has more browns and blacks in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I bought this yarn as soon as it became available because I love the color of it. This is from um, the Cat Lady. CatLady.com. CatLady.com, who also has a, a podcast. podcast. This one's called Pumpkin Coffee. Mm. So this is very orange and brown. It is. It's very fall. It's very fall. Like Very fall. Loved it. Yeah. I attempted to pair these two together, and they were so close. incredibly close yeah. that you couldn't tell... Um, you couldn't tell them apart, right. which wouldn't be bad, right? To right. use them together, but in a striping thing, I so I took those out, and that's why I paired these two together. And even still, they complement each other so well because you can't actually that's the cool. way that you're seeing it right now, the stripes aren't um, super pronounced, right? They're right. there. You can see just like subtle hints of it. Mm -hmm. So I really, really like the way that that looks. This is gonna so, look so nice. It's definitely gonna be super fall. Like it's going to look like a... That's what I'm going for. But yeah. now what I'm struggling with is my next section. My next section is section three. Okay. So I was going to use this initially. But I don't know if it's too dark. Now section three is going to go... So section three is going to bring... These two together. Those two sections together. It's knit in between them. Mm -hmm. Right? So... Okay. I think... By itself? Yeah. By itself. Okay. So it's a... Solid color by itself. So I put this in and I messed up. I was like, I did not read the pattern. I had way too many stitches on, so I had to take it out. I didn't get very far. But then my next one was throwing this in and I took it out. Um, so I think I'm, I think I may go back to this or, or um, my last option is to use the last skein of yarn from Barn Yard Knits. Mm. Well, they do go very well together. Yeah, because then it would be a shawl made strictly of barnyard knits, and Lolo did it. Hmm. And then you would use the Cat Lady for another project, because you have two skeins of that. Right, I, I have two skeins of this, and I, yeah. and I do love it. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah, oh my God, it's adorable. So I just put this on so I can remember. Look at the little freaking Progress Keeper stitch it's marker so that's cute. included. And it's so I bought kitty. two skeins, and each skein came with a different one, so I'll show you. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that's kind of where I am. I I really enjoyed this. Um, it's gonna be really squishy, and come and and soft and I love beautiful. I do love the way that it knits up. I wasn't really sold on my color choices here with the red. Oh, I love it. And then the brownish tan on top of it. But I I really am. I'm mm -hmm. happy with this. I love the way because it's, it's all and it's all gonna like coordinate together. Like it's gonna the overall effect yeah. is gonna be amazing. And I was nervous that this was gonna be too stripey and this too stripey but it's really not i just i really am happy with the way yeah. this is coming out i think it's it's stripey but you have these pops of like pooling and this yeah. like little variegation it looks really good because there's so many um mm -hmm. colors within the two skeins yeah. that just match up yeah. that it looks really really good but yeah i think seriously you i could just wear i know it's, it's done yeah all set yeah goodbye it's done it's a wrap it's good literally so it's a wrap i would yeah it could be renamed something else the Picard. Oh, right. I know. All right. So that is... That's it for whips. Oops. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's all the whips. Really have like no... Um, I know. 
sad. We have. I'm very excited. I think I'm going to have a lot of progress to show on the the shawl next time. Yeah, I think next time. Because I think now I'm at a spot. I oh. probably could have done quite a bit of it. Gosh, it was hours. I spent hours and hours. Yeah, you've taken it out a lot. Hours. I've looked at it too. I again, I think that the. Inst- I think sometimes it's hard to um, be able to decipher a pattern if you're not knitting it yeah. yourself. So well, it also goes to show just like how creative he actually is as a designer. You know, like he has all these ideas in his head, and maybe in the beginning he didn't really know how to, or didn't. I'm sure he did because he obviously wrote those patterns, and people knit them, and they had no problems. I looked at all the project pages, but um, but now I think he now his ideas and his ability to put it down on paper are probably a lot better because his newer patterns like i didn't have any problems with uh the bone yarn i mean that was a new never mind that wasn't yeah. a new pattern i don't know what i'm talking about you know what i was just gonna say i didn't realize oh maybe this wasn't i was gonna say it's just his copyright i was like oh vertices united was from 2014 as well so maybe not i mm. just saw the copyright dates yeah um so yeah so that's all the whips yep i think my so my focus is going to be on we're gonna my, have a short episode we are <gasps> Possibly. Who knows? We go on tangents, so we could fill like on. This could end. We're up not going to go on an this hour could and fifteen minutes tangent. An extended version of Lord of the Rings, for all we know. Oh my God, Lord of the Rings! I thought was going to end. How many times? <laughs> like right, we went to yeah. the theater to go see it, and oh we're like, God. okay, oh, but not yet. Oh, I've okay. actually been watching here and there the the movies, anyways, and I've been uh-huh. watching the extended versions. Have them on while I'm working. It takes me like six hours to watch one movie with all the breaks that I have to take with the dog and like lunch yeah. and all that. Oh my, they're so long. Um, but so yeah, I think I'm going to focus on Vertices Unite. Yep, I think that's a good idea. And probably my sock because yep. I would like to get that. I want to finish my sock too. So those will be my two main focuses mm-hmm. uh, for the most part, I think. Cool. I do. Um, I I keep saying this. I need a hat. I, I really need a hat in it's my life. It's funny that you said that because I, I want to... Oh, I said I was going to do a sock head slouch. Maybe I'll do something different. Yeah, I, I keep thinking of doing... Um, pulling a U and doing a Lyle cap again. Why pulling um, a me? Because just knitting the same hat Oh, the over same over. thing over and over again? Because I do. I, I knit it and I loved it, uh, especially the very first one that I did. Yeah. And that yarn... Um, I'm just going to do this so that it, the screen doesn't like do stuff. Okay. Um, the yarn that I used for there was a different... Um, What's the word? Spun differently. The twist in it oh, okay. was different, so it was a little airier. And the second one I did was, I think, my yarn ink is a little denser, a higher twist. Mm-hmm. So it's a has a little more I do I do it. like yarn ink yarn, though. It was, it's really I do, nice to but I love the Lyle cap that I did and the Into the World yarn. Uh-huh. More than do I love... Do we have any more Into the World? Just that one color. I, yeah. I only bought it one time because mm-hmm. it was on sale. Um, That's DK, though? Sale. Yeah, it was a DK yeah. weight, so I should We don't check. have... Well, we have some DK. Yeah, our DK stash is building up. Yeah. Um, I do need, I would like more because I do want to cast on the simple card, the simple hug cardi. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm determining what size I'm going to do. I either need 850 yards or 950 yards. So I was thinking of doing leading men five bars yeah. for that. I just can't decide if I want to do like a striped or if I want to do just a one color. I almost think a one color um, and a second color for the, I actually thought a second color for just the ribbing on the bottom and then the band oh that could be really nice so i thought about doing that i thought of that maybe a really gray nice. and yeah. then um maybe like a uh red or like a dark green sure for the band possibly nice. so we'll see um so what about so we have a little bit of acquisitions or break mm, we, the have bank. we have one acquis like breaking the bank. break in the bank we do well yeah Two break in the bank and one owl post. Yeah, we do have an owl post. We do have an owl post. Mm-hmm. So why don't you talk about the owl post? Sure. This also comes from Andrea. Oh my god, I forgot I know. to touch this. It's beautiful. It's really nice. This also comes from Andrea um, at the Cat Lady uh, Yarn Design. Oh, it is amazing. This is called. This deep- is deep sea green. Um, and this is on her 17 micron Merino. It's 420 yards, 384 meters, 115 grams. It's a two ply fingering weight. It is, I, I cannot, it's the micron I know, but like yeah. it's a hundred percent Merino, right? Is it yeah. superwash though? 
Um, I don't think so. Wash cold, lukewarm by hand, lay flat to dry. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's possumly soft merino, which is her base, which is super yeah. cute. There's and the card. So what the micron is, and I looked into it a little bit. So um, the lower the micron. Look at the speckles. Or yeah, the, it's, like it's little a really pretty color. It's gorgeous. And the twist is beautiful. It's very, like, I mean, that's incredibly soft and squishy yarn. Yeah. Like, you, you can't. You can't even describe it. Like it's, I can't describe it. It's, I don't even... It's really, really pretty. Yeah. Oh, um, we're not in focus. Hello? You see my pimples? Oh, my gosh. You look like somebody's looking... Like, you're like looking a at a peephole? No, like in... Peephole. Um, so... It's creepy. And it's not focusing again. There. Back, back. And there we go. Here and we are. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm the, Ray. Let's jump. Start again. So the microns, um, the lower the number, the softer. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it's the diameter of the fiber. Oh. So the the I don't know if we can lowest see recorded micron is 10. Um, and I think it's very common for most yarns to be at 20 to 24 microns. Yeah, that's a really nice, that's a really pretty one too. Look at the progress keeper. Yeah, it's so cute. I just don't know if it's... It's really nice to include that in with the yarn. Yeah, really cute. It's a little cat. Um, oh, and so guess what? So she sent this for you guys. Yeah, it's a giveaway. So it's a giveaway. So we're going to add this to our little giveaway um, pile after I rub myself down with it. If anybody wants it after that, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, it came undone. We can, re we can retwist. Retwist? Uh, it's yeah. so soft. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really soft yarn. Yeah, it really is. So that's awesome. So that was uh, Owl Post. Yeah, so she was, thank you, Andrea. She was kind enough to include that. Yeah, so thank you so much. So check out... Um, thecatlady.com um, and check out her podcast as well She and follow her on Instagram she shows a lot of her new colorways and what she's been working on yep. so thank you so much so this is my second skein of um, pumpkin coffee pumpkin coffee it looks it's beautiful so this um, is on her perfect sock it's 80% mm -hmm. superwash merino 20% nylon 420 yards 115 grams and it is a three ply fingering weight it's just so orangey. This is autumn right here. It this totally is, is. This is autumn in a skein of yarn. I know. I want to go to Jones's and like get pumpkins. Oh my and God. I can't wait to get I'm pumpkins ready. and squashes. Yeah, I'm ready. I can't wait to um, like bake. I, yeah, obviously, I could bake now. Sure. I, I'm also But who not... the hell wants to turn the oven on like right. in this heat? It's hard. I know. And I'm not eating. I'm trying to eat healthy. Yeah, you're doing good. Um, So baking obviously doesn't help with that unless I bake like Yeah. Vegetables. I'm eating very unhealthy. <laughs> No, you're not doing awful. You see what I well, eat at work. Well, I, I was going to say, I have no idea what you eat at work, so that's a lot. And look, this one came with a white um, cat. I love that. And all the cats are I different. Know. They are. Which is really, really cute. really, really cute. Um, so yeah, this is... So I will use these two. I am almost considering using these for... Another dotted raise? That would be nice. Maybe. That would be really or nice. Or radiate. I don't know how much yardage yeah. I need for the radiate. Or shot. I can take one of those. And what would you like to do? Mm, pure joy you need like mm, sock head slouch no that would be great i need to actually make one for the the autumn oh mm -hmm. i have the yeah do i have one of i have one with this my saw the only one that i've knit is with this really yep hmm. um you also so have a sweaters quantity of um yarn from... i do for my city limits yeah sweater yeah and then my last. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten mine yet. No, you haven't gotten yours. So I don't know if everybody else has has theirs. So this is a warning. This is amazing, though. This is to all those who are presently receiving the Dumbledore Club. I did receive my July twenty twenty shipments in the mail yesterday. Yep. Mine hasn't come yet, which is kind of weird because they're going in the same place. But whatever. But this happened to us last time too. Yeah, it did. Yours came like three days before mine did. Yeah. So this is, so if you, yeah, look away club, if you've joined the club and have not received your not colorway received and you don't want to ruin the surprise. Correct. Um, but look if you want to because it's amazing if you don't mind the surprise being ruined. So our quote for the month is, "I was merely reading the Muggle magazines. I do love knitting patterns." And we received. Oh, look at that little speckle. I didn't see you there, Oh, buddy. yeah, there's, I know. these. They come out of nowhere. All right, so our, our mini is called Knitting Patterns. 
So it's again, it's that that tan, tan base, tan yeah. base with just some speckles from the. Um, yeah, the speckling is just different. It yeah. ties it all That's together. That's the only but... thing I'm not actually super. Yeah. I wish that there was a little variation in the. In the yeah, me too. In this, I get that it's really easy to mm -hmm. only have to knit or dye this, um, but that's the only thing I that I wasn't expecting was the same um, mini every month. Sure. The next one is called Muggle Magazine. This is great. This is on a different base. Is it? Yes, this isn't the normal base that we got. You know what? I wonder if she was affected by COVID and wasn't able to get her normal base. What is this base? This is eighty five fifteen. We normally get eighty five fifteen. Aren't the other ones normally seventy five? I don't know. Twenty five. Where are they all eighty five fifteen? This is eighty five fifteen. Eighty five okay. extra fine superwash merino huh. fifteen nylon. I thought they were seventy five. But this. All right. So look at this guy. I forgot how great this. This color is was. like a. It's not white. It's almost a very, very pale gray. Yeah. Like, incredibly pale. So it's done really, really well. It is. And the With blue the in it, 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 it reminds me, yeah, it reminds me of, like, pen ink. How great do these go together? That's it, what I was saying last night. <gasps> I will probably oh use these. Oh, my God. Right? Use these two together in a shawl. Oh, my God. I love it. How many yard? What's the yardage on that? On um, Bravery? No, on, oh. on either one, actually. 440, 100 440. grams. 440. Three ply. So 440. You know what? If Ooh, this looks so good. You could do pure joy with uh, with them. Um, I'm gonna. Are you, so you're gonna... Well, no, I can't break my... I was just I gonna say, you're gonna, you're gonna I wanna do a away. sock in every single one, because I thought that would be fun, but now... You know what? Who cares? I could do whatever the hell I want, right? I, it's yeah. mine. Especially, it's... we're gonna be doing um, A Man and It's Harry Potter. We're gonna be getting more sock yarn. Are we Although I don't, we didn't talk about it. No, we are absolutely okay, doing it, and I might do her. I might do that on her MCN base. <gasps> yeah, Ooh. and then I could have. What are her other bases? We have to look. There's a ton. Oh, I might do it on this. She's just probably not an option. Uh, no, ev like every single base is an option. So yes, I love this color. I, I just th I think it's so well done. It's so. Um, I think it's really well I, done too, and it's very different than. Although maybe it's not. Because no, she does have the speckling and stuff on this one too, yeah. but maybe because the because the um like the base coat is so light like yeah. the I don't know, know I just different. I love this one this is Me one too. of my favorites oh I love these together I'm doing it pure joy I have to finish some of my other friggin' things but hey just add it to the queue okay pure joy I don't have a queue I should start a queue I have a queue and there's way too much in it you, you I don't do? know that I take stuff out of it after I've done it. I, think, I should probably, uh, I should spend a little time on Ravelry. I don't spend enough time. Me there. neither. We have a lot of things on Ravelry that I haven't gotten to yet. I know. People have been amazing in our Ravelry group. You guys um, certainly the You heart. really have. And I'm really sorry. I haven't been. It's, it's just difficult. It's really it difficult. Like I look through it all and I love them all. Yeah. I try to, but I don't know even where it goes or if it. We were talking about this and I'm really surprised that there hasn't been somebody who's made a better version of Ravelry. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, with like a better like, because it's all about the community, right? So like, community is huge for yes. knitting and crocheting and this fiber, the fiber community. So like, to have some sort of community interaction that's a little bit more, I don't know. Like, imagine how cool it would be to almost have like, like an old school like, like blog or a um, chat room. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like AOL chat room. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I think that I think that's everything. I don't know that there's that's all of our yarny yeah. goodness i think we, we have been one shopping. thing so we have two no we haven't been shopping um but we will obviously coming up. i know i i still gotta i got i want to figure out my simple hug card yeah i, do I might i might do out. a treat myself for my birthday we'll see what happens um oh yeah your birthday is coming up next weekend yep. well august it's a week third. from monday i don't know august when, when it is. it's a monday it's yeah it's weird. a monday wham, wham. Um, so we do have two knit alongs going or two make alongs going on right now. We, we have do. a no stress Mal that's with Andrea from the cat lady, um, podcast and, um, Amy from happy little yarn that's going till August 31st. It was really kind of, you know, do whatever you want. We were encouraging free patterns just because we wanted to kind of be like no stress and that and accessible for everybody. We had 294 entries so far in our FO thread, which is mind-boggling and amazing and fantastic. 
we have decided that, and we showed this on Sunday, um, that we have some prizes because everybody's been so generous donating to us, to the podcast, to like give back to you guys. Um, so we have enough prizes to pull from both the FO thread and the chatter thread. Yes. So we'll be doing that towards the end of, uh, obviously at the end of our make along, which is the 31st. And so we thought in every podcast, we were just going to do like a little bit of a showcase and kind of talk about, um, you know, some of the things that you guys have worked on so far. I think that was really, really cool. So we had 294 entries. We did a random number generator right before we started this. And 111 was our showcase for today. This comes from Sarah. Sarah is in Ontario, Canada. And um, I love her favorite curse word. She's a, a massage therapist, which is kind of nice. And she did. She did. To, oh, shoot. I just pulled up the project. Oh, so she did a spiral Tunisian crochet rug. What? Look at this. So this is the rug almost finished. Well, let me, um, oops, let me turn, oops. Oh my God. One day, one day I'll learn how to use my phone. <laughs> no, you're going to learn how to use it and then we're going to get a new one. I know. So there's the rug and look at it. underneath her little... Isn't that cool? Oh, I see. You see I it there? See. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't I'm sorry. Sure we have was... like a reflection I going know. on. I was like, I wasn't. I'm sorry, not sure guys. where I'm looking. Yeah. So that was really awesome. So thank you so much. And I love she her. Um, look at her yarn wall. Oh my god. So you know who so did that? So Tannis too? does that. Yeah. From Tannis Fiber Tannis Arts, Fiber Arts. Had, done, had done something very similar. Yeah. And Jody was just talking about doing something similar on. I think it was Jody on. What a fun little area um, to like sit there and knit and crochet. crochet. Love it. Right. So this was. Um, I don't know the pattern. A oh, spiral rug. That's what she called it. I don't know what pattern she used. She might have done it herself. Yeah, it doesn't say that there's a, a pattern here. That's so cool. great job. Good job. Bravo. Brava. It was a personal pattern, not in Ravelry, it says. So thank you for entering our, um, our Ravelry. Ravelry. And then, too, thing. I just, um... So, I just wanted to say hi to uh, Daryl. Hi, Daryl. So, um, we talked about this again on Sunday. This is just something that, obviously, we love hearing about. Um, just these group of young men who are who have started knitting. Um, they've started watching the podcast. So, Daryl has... Let's not give the whole story. Cause no, I'm yeah, not. Yeah. Daryl has been knitting. Um, I'm trying to... Oh, I know how to do this. Ooh. Has been... Um, Knitting up some face masks in the ear, ear protectors. Yeah, the ear protectors, and just been giving them out. Isn't that I awesome? It, I think he's given away about fifty. So great job, Daryl! Thanks yeah. for watching out and hang, watching out, watching us and hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, and, and so you, and good job knitting. Totally. And so this group, what they've been doing is, um, we ha they she's been emailing us um, with like a. They're, they're highlighting each, what, yeah highlighting, highlighting one what of the young one of the young that, men that are, um, she's been working with and then the young man that was highlighted is then drawing a name out of a hat or something yeah. and choosing the next one to be highlighted so i don't know hopefully that continues and we can continue to bring that to you uh yeah i think here it's on awesome. the podcast i think it's amazing i think you know it's it's so great what this what knitting and crocheting and you know what we can being do. creative can being do creative yeah for absolutely um, totally it's what such else? a huge part of, you know. Oh, I thought you said huge fart. No, I did not say huge fart. Okay. No. And then we have an our uh, Let's Hear It For The Boys make along. Yes, which. That's also going into the 31st where we're highlighting um, designers, dyers, and patterns um, made for or by um, men. Men. Um, to just kind of support all the, yeah. the males in the totally. community because, you know. It's hard for us sometimes to find patterns that we can knit and enjoy. Yeah, and it's been really nice to see um, some of the choices that everybody has yes. made. Um, we have a lot of entries there as well. We'll be drawing winners from our FO thread, chatter thread, and on Instagram. Yep. So we have a hashtag on Instagram. It's hashtag uh, <laughs> NATRBOYS2020. That'll be in our show notes below if we Correct. ever get these show notes 
together. And we obviously we know that some people have some issues viewing Ravelry, Ravelry with their um, updates that they've made to the website. So if you would like to participate and you're no longer able to do so by going to the site, feel free to shoot us either an email or a DM, and we can um, like put your entry into the yeah group into the Ravelry group because um, we don't want people to miss out if they're not able to use the site currently. So totally. absolutely feel free. Yep. I actually did um, that with my mom. She just, it's not that she couldn't use Ravelry. She just didn't know how to upload a picture. So if you go look in our um, stress-free make along, I submitted an entry for my mother. She does not qualify for a prize. Sorry, mom. You're her prize. Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. Look at you. But um, she did a paper craft, so if you're interested in some paper crafts, she did it with her Cricut, um, and you can see that there. Um, so on to like what we've been watching and reading. Sure. Great. I've watched quite a bit, actually. Okay. I have finished season five, four of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You I did? On, yeah. How many I, seasons are there? Six? There's seven. Seven. So I moved on to season five. Okay. Season five is really one of my least favorite, kind of. But in, se so in season five, they introduce her sister. And I was watching episode two of season five, and her sister mentions Hogwarts. And I did I not even so know funny. anything about Harry Potter at that point in time in my life mm -hmm. when I was watching this when it originally aired. So that was really cool to hear. Um, That's really cool. And then I have watched... I've been going back, and I'd like to watch... If I don't watch Buffy when I'm working... I will be throwing on I throw on old movies just so I can have some type of background background noise. Yeah. Uh, so I watched Lion Witch in the Wardrobe uh, this week. I watched so that is Sparum. Sparum, which we say literally all the time. We do all the time. We say it all we the time. We have a really small. We have a it's a three bedroom house, but one of the bedrooms is um it's pretty small. It is small. But yeah, it's, it's our very small. Spare room. It's our spare room. It's a spat room. Spat room. Yeah, you can really get like a bed and like a side table and we keep the ironing board in there sometimes. Most uh, of the time. Uh, the closet in there is like uh, Oh, the closet is huge. Is the extension of our like yeah. meeting room or this room kind yeah. of. Um so what else did I, I watched that and then I watched something else that was old. Or crap, what did I watch? I don't know. I haven't watched anything. I watched We're it. almost done with Pose. We're, we have one episode left of season two of Pose, and then we're all caught up on that. Yep. And I watched another movie on Disney, I thought. Disney Plus. You did? Yeah, I don't remember what it you was. You know what would be good to watch again? What? Uh, Onward? Yes. How'd you know I was going to say that? We are so linked. Oh, my gosh. Do, 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 do. It's so amazing. It is. But don't um, you think? That would be fun. Let's do it. Maybe I actually... There was something else I wanted to watch, and I don't... I, what else? Man, I'm really bummed, because it was such a good movie. It was such a, like, old... Not oldie. I don't know. So that was, I guess that's what I've watched. Huh. I hmm. wonder what it was. It, they were both on the same day too. And it was like literally two days ago. Really? Yeah. Okay. Move on. Maybe it'll come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Would it, um, pose. And then, um, what about your reading? My reading. So I'm reading the wise man's fear. Let me just see. The wise man's fear, which is book two, uh, by Patrick, Patrick. Patrick Ruthfuss. Um it is amazing. I think this the the world that he's creating is um so great. You feel like you're there. It's um it, it's an interesting take on like magic and alchemy and all of that. It's uh the the characters are great. I think it's fantastic. It's a very long book. I, I'm having trouble staying awake at night, which is a good thing. Like, that's fine. I, I'm getting good sleep. But um, I usually, I read at nighttime, which everybody knows, I'm sure, because I've said it a bunch. But I get through, what, like 10 minutes, I think, and then I'm like, if that, I'm out. I'm you, out. So I'm also, only like 30% through. But you've also been going, especially this past week, you've been going to bed much later than I have. normal because you've been trying to figure out the Stephen oh, Westall. I know. Like, you normally go to bed at, like, I go nine. Up, yeah. You've been going up 10 o'clock or later. I know. Uh, most of the week to try to work on that. I have. Yeah, it's. I know. Yeah. So I'm reading that, and I am also listening, listening. because, yes, Audible. I ended up taking advantage of my Audible. I wanted just to see what it was like. So um, I used one of my credits to get Harry Potter, Yes. which I did. And I think I talked about this already, but Jim Daly is the, uh, the narrator, reader. I don't mm -hmm. know what the terminology is for that. I think it's a narrator. I think it's a narrator as well. Um, but 
he's great. I think his uh, <laughs> his impersonations or his voices are pretty good for most characters. Some of them I, I don't like. I don't like his Hermione um, because it's, it's very whiny. Um, but maybe that's how she's supposed to be. I like his Hagrid. I think his Hagrid is pretty good. Dumbledore. I didn't realize how little Dumbledore actually speaks in this first book. Um, but I think I like him, like him. McGonagall is interesting. Snape, I'm on the fence. It's just interesting, like hearing somebody read it to you. And I was saying this to Kevin, um, hearing, you know, cause we watched the movies first. Yeah. And then, so after watching the movies, then reading the book, how they pronounce a lot of the, like the words and places and stuff are, um, in the movie, I, I read that in the book, the yeah. pronunciation, but when he's reading it to me, just to me personally, it's um his pronunciations are very different. So like, I can't think of it. What did I say? Oh, Diagon like, Alley. Diagon Alley. So in the in the movies, it's pronounced Diagon Alley, right? And that's how I read it. But in like the like he reads it like diagonally, you know, which is interesting. I don't know. It's just really interesting. I do isn't like that, it. Isn't that how Harry? Potter that's how Harry says said it in the it, movie. And then he got sent right. down a couple blocks. Yeah. Like he got, I don't know. So anyway, um, it's really interesting. So I do like, I do like the, the audible. I do like listening to the books. I didn't know if I was going to, but Good I do. For, yeah. I've been I listen to yet. it. It's, you should. I have two more credits. So I don't think I'm going to continue with the Harry Potter because I wanted to see just what it was like. And I thought it would be a safe bet to yeah. do a book that I've, I already like know because I've read this like a million times. Um, so I was listening to it like while I was cutting the grass today and taking the dog for WALK. We can't say it out loud. He's not even in here. I know. But it would have been fine. I don't know. I don't want to gamble. So that's what I've been reading slash listening to. Cool. Yeah. And you? I finished... Is that the cover of the book? Of the one I'm currently reading. Yeah. So I finished reading Hammered by Kevin Hearn. So that is in the Iron Druid Chronicles. Uh-huh. So it's a nine book series. That was book three. And I enjoyed it. Um, I did not enjoy as much as the first two books that I read. Okay. I was surprised by some of the um, storylines in this one. And and I was surprised by the ending. The ending actually ended, it ended very abruptly. It was just like, boom. I don't don't know how I feel about those. I was like, Like, oh, like like there's nothing else. It's like, oh, and I was like, oh, okay. All right. Um, Great. Nice reading you. Um, so I decided to take a break because another book has come out that I wanted to read. So this is by TJ Klune, who mm-hmm. I read three of his books just a couple months ago and, and absolutely loved them. They were the Green Creek books, uh, Wolf Song, Raven Song, and Heart oh, Song. Yeah. And um, the fourth book actually comes out next month. Oh, that's exciting. Brother Song, the final book in the... Brother Song. Okay. Yeah, Brother Song, the final book in the um, series, okay. which I love. So this is The House in the Cer- Cer- Cerulean Sea. This book... I know you can't judge a book by its cover, but... But, I mean, literally... It's kind of cool, actually. It really is. The book is just getting very high praise anyways. Um it is about a caseworker who deals with magical children and all these magical children are in orphanages so he's sent to one particularly um for for some time to investigate Mm -hmm. so what i like about this book so far like i i can kind of see like the the theme and what it kind of you know what i was thinking of it reminds me of like sat saturday morning or sunday morning cartoons like hannah barbera and all of them have oh, like yeah. a little um thing at the end to tell you to like do good like it, he-man yeah so uh. this just i feel like this book is really about kind of like discovering who you are realizing that your family doesn't nest isn't necessarily your relatives mm-hmm. um and not judging kind of a book by its cover um, and re- so I think that's kind of where this is going to go. I love every single character that has been introduced so far. They're all so incredibly unique and different. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. The chapters are incredible, like long when you're reading it on the Kindle, I love to see how many minutes I have left in a chapter. So I always have that in my bottom left hand corner of the Kindle. So I kind of gauge how long I'm going to be staying up this evening yeah. to read. 
I can stop in the middle of a sentence. I don't like doing that. <laughs> I just, I just. I only like stopping where the natural break comes in, where they have like the three dots, and now you're like in a whole another scene. So I could stop there, but I, I really like completing a chapter. Um, so like the last one was chapter was about an hour long. Really, that's yeah. a long so, chapter. So so yeah, the the chapters are quite long. So about I don't know, maybe about forty percent through the book. So I'm excited for that, and then I will I think by the time I'm done with this. Mm-hmm. Either Brother Song is going to come out, and if it doesn't, then I'm going to read Elder from Audrey Fay, and that's in my. What well, else did we read from Audrey Fay? So Audrey Fay Fay is the her new pen name. She used to go by. Oh Deborah yeah, Geary. that's right. Duh. But she does the um, Ghost yeah. Mountain Wolf series. Yep. Which yep. I believe this is now book like seven or eight. So I've read the previous ones, and they're just sometimes you need a short, feel good story. Her books always do that for me, except this Ghost Mountain one. There's a lot of characters I get confused with who the hell they are. Like, I really feel like I need a, a family tree or a genealogy yeah. on the wall as I'm reading. Well, I found that in the beginning, like, the first... Because I read the first two or three books, I think, in that series. And I found that there were there were too many... There's too many. There Sometimes are, there are too many characters. Yes. This book has... And new ones are always introduced yeah. in every book. Yeah. Um, but what, what I like about that series is each book focuses on one particular character mainly uh-huh. and again their growth and their healing kind of um so so her books always have this great happy ending and, and you see somebody's growth yeah um, i do like those books too yeah, like those that, books you know, are really or, really good or like um uh, like when when it's not so like stressful sometimes endings of books can be stressful I but think like when it's a happy ending, I appreciate a happy ending. With reading, sometimes it's very much like you're knitting. Like knitting, I like to have one where I'm learning something, yeah. one that's challenging, one that's super easy, yeah. you know, that type of that's thing. That's a good point. It's the same thing with readings. I love reading engaging books. Yes. Um, and, you know, mysteries mm-hmm. and thrillers because you, you're kind of thinking through that. You're trying to figure out who who done it. Um, and then sometimes I like a really easy, gentle yeah. read. But that's a feel good. Sometimes reading could, you know, boost your... Um, emotions and and make you happy i don't know why i thought you were gonna say metabolism well maybe i don't know maybe maybe for fast (laughs) but yeah so that's kind of what i've been reading and that's kind of what i kind of where my planning on reading goes and then i think that's everything right i think so i don't know Um, that we have anything else no you know it's light on the projects well no no we've done some knitting but it's all you have to remember it's been a week it has it's really been a week week compared Mm -hmm. to two weeks if it was two weeks yeah it would have looked like we and were And you know amazing. what? Honestly, like, I think with this, you know, with our podcast, we're just going to keep coming back, obviously. Even if we don't have a lot to show, we'll just check in with everybody and yeah. say hello. They don't this have to be three-hour episodes. Correct. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, again, we're just going to thank everybody for um, sticking around. All the new viewers, thank you for checking us out. Yeah. Returning viewers, thank you again. Um, and please be our friend on Instagram. Yeah. So Find us a, on Instagram uh, now. At Needles at the Ready Pod. Yep. Um, you, we also... You know, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. We love um, reading the we comments and the replying comments. to them. So yeah. We are pretty good at replying to the comments, I believe. Yes, I think we have mm-hmm. a couple. We do have the, a few. We have a few that we need to get back to. But, but we usually really get good. to, yeah, we usually get to We're everybody. very good at And it's nice because I like, we, you know. I do it with my morning coffee. Yeah. Most of the time. Me too. I almost, I feel like, same, I do it with my morning coffee too. Like, it's nice. It's been nice in the mornings. You know, I'll sit outside with the laptop and my coffee and just kind of like and look yeah. at that. And You get to enjoy the deck. I know. Except when our neighbors. I know. Let's not talk about it. No. But there were four raccoons on their deck last night, guys. Four. Our no. neighbors decided that. To live outside. On to live deck. outside. And they haven't been outside in years. Four years. Correct. Like ever. Ever. Nope. They had, like, vines growing on the outside of their house, like, up, you know, and, like, their deck was kind of, like, taken over by nature. They decided that this was a year. COVID, that COVID was going to be that thing that pushed them over the edge to Apparently. use so their Apparently. So now deck. she, like, lives out. They both, they she is outside most of the time. It's a yes. husband and wife. Like 11 to 11. Yeah. And there's, like, weird, like, bowls of water attached to their banisters for like the animals and then they scatter bird seed on the banister. they scatter just throw bird seed around the deck um and then there was to... an empty peanut butter uh... jar with the top off on the deck and so of course 
Now all the critters come. Now we have raccoons. There, oh, no, and there was a rat. There was a rat. There was a rat now, there two days ago. every day you can see in the morning that a the rat. rat is just hanging out on the friggin' deck. It's like this long. The and tail then, is like this long. And it just, it's happy as a clam eating whatever the hell they scatter all over the place. And we, and we don't know, then something's coming over to our deck. Yeah. And eating our strawberry bush. They're eating our strawberry plants. They're digging in the strawberry bush. I know. So now we got to bring the strawberry plants inside. At night. At night. To make sure nothing's yep. in there chewing. We had two beautiful... I mean, it's not a lot of strawberries. It's the first time that we're growing strawberries. But we I, had like two nice strawberries in the beginning, remember? Yep. That we were waiting, and then they ate them off. And now I have two flowers. We had two flowers that are starting to turn into strawberries. But then they they dried out. So I don't know what happened. I don't think they're going to turn too into much strawberries. Sun. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. It's supposed to get like six hours of sun a day. I know. We're, I now know. we're rambling. So... Okay. All right. So thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, that's it. Is that it? That's all we have. So we will see you guys... In a fortnight in a fortnight yep enjoy your next uh two weeks have fun crafting bye everyone bye everyone